Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to go through 12 holiday outfits that would be perfect for any type of work or office party or any family get together, times when you want to look a little festive and a little dressed up without going over the top into formality. All of the outfits that I'm going to show you today are uh, pants outfits because where I live, it gets really cold and um, they're, it's just much more comfortable if you're, if you're wearing pants, but they are definitely festive and perfect for the holiday season. I will, um, as always, post the links to the items that I am showing you in the description box below. If I can't find the item that I am wearing because I bought it years ago, I will find something comparable to put in there for you. But as always, the point of these videos is not necessarily for you to go and buy all of these items, but to inspire you to go back in your closet, take a look at what's in there, and see maybe if you can combine them in a way to create a holiday style that makes you feel really special. I've also gone through some hairstyles that look really good with these styles. So without further ado, let's get going. So this very first look is one that I very recently wore. And um, it's, it's perfect for a day work, especially if you're going out afterwards for drinks or to just meet up with some friends and kind of catch up during the holidays. It features uh, the perfect pant from Spanx, which I'm going to do a video on uh, shortly, and a floral blouse from Ann Taylor that is a, a very pretty black base floral with a lot of red in it. And so it's a very small pattern. It's festive without going over the top. I think this outfit is perfect for just about any occasion. So this next look is actually a perfect look for where I live. It features a slim fitting plaid pair of pants in a deep green navy and black plaid, some black high heeled pumps, and my favorite mango denim shirt on top. I think that I love the look when you've got something kind of dressy in one area and then you tone it all down with something like denim on top. This would be perfect for going out uh, for drinks uh, at any time, maybe going out for some wings or some pizza, and you just wanna, you wanna be a little bit festive, but you don't wanna be overly formal. So another great choice to keep things festive without being overly formal is to pair something like a bow blouse that you can tie either up tight or leave it low and leave the bow undone and um, button a few buttons down in the front so it gives you more of a v-neck to it. This particular look is really wonderful with just a pair of dark denim jeans or with some black pants. You can see that um, it's shown here with the blouse open and untucked, and I think that gives it a much more of a laid back look. I've noticed that these bow blouses are really popular this year. This particular one I bought several years ago from Ann Taylor, but I have found several others that are very similar, and I think that this just always is a very classy look. So these particular styles look really nice with your hair down. Now I have hair that is a little bit uh, past my shoulders. And um, I think that this particular blouse and a lot of the looks that are shown just before that look really nice with your hair down, blown out with an airbrush, and then just curled softly around the edges, around the bangs, and in the back, and then fluffed out to give you some nice soft waves. This next look features the blouse that I'm actually wearing right here. And uh, this is a new purchase this year from Ann Taylor. And I was really drawn to both the tie, because I seem to be really into this this season, but even more so, I love this color. It's somewhat of a gold bronze color, and I just found it really unique and a very warm color for the holiday season that's not necessarily red or green. So I absolutely love this shell. It looks great under a blazer or with a cardigan over the top of it. You can tie it in the front as I have done here, or you can tie it along the side as it is shown in the pictures. It looks really nice with white cream colored trousers, with black trousers, with denim jeans again. It's just a very versatile piece that I'm sure I'll have for many years to come. So you, you can never really go wrong, I think, with black and white. And that is the basis of this next look. I'm wearing these cream colored white trousers that are, have a self belt from Ann Taylor that I purchased last year, but I noticed they have the same item pretty much this year. And I have paired them with a black 
uh, V-neck blouse from Maurice's that I, I got a few years ago. The blouse has sheer sleeves, so it makes it a little dressier. And I think this would be a perfect outfit to wear to work on a night when you're going out for drinks later or maybe have an office party. You could put a blazer over the top of this and then when it comes time to go out, you could take the blazer off and you would look, I think, perfect. Um, this look goes great with a black blazer over the top. I've also tried it with a cream colored blazer and even with a camel colored blazer. It really is a sharp look, which is perfect for just about any occasion. So another hairstyle option that can um, kind of add a little special touch to your hair is to pull some of it up and leave the rest of it down so that you still have that look of long hair, but you pull it off your face. Here it's pulled off and twisted in the back and secured with, with hairpins so that you have a little bit of a sleeker look. So black on black is always a classic choice. And here I have kept the same uh, black blouse with the sheer sleeves and just paired it with some black leather trousers that I got this year from Ann Taylor. Now these trousers are really a great buy and I can't recommend them enough. They are supposed to be cropped, but I'm only 5'4", so on me they are not really cropped. They basically are, are just about full length, but the fit of them is really beautiful. Not too tight, not too loose, just very flattering on and a very supple and soft leather. So I just love this look, especially with my hair up and it's just some keeping those black pumps right on and accenting with some gold jewelry. So sometimes I think women forget about the high necked blouse and just how classy that can be in a little Bridgerton kind of a way. This particular choice is from the Ann Taylor late fall line, maybe early winter. I love the bold print on this. I love the black. This blouse pairs beautifully with white trousers, with the black leather trousers or any black pant, either a slim fitting pant or a wide leg pant. And um, it's, just, it's just a great blouse to wear in many different ways. You can wear it tucked in as I have it here, or you can wear it out with um, some slim fitting leggings or another pant and a flat shoe. It would look fantastic. I think it looks especially flattering with, with your hair up. So nothing makes uh, the holidays a little more special than a little extra care with your hair. Some of these looks look very, very elegant with your hair swept up. Here we've kept the uh, tendrils around the face loose and carefree and just pulled the rest of it up and pinned it so that it still um, you know, hangs down in a casual way. It doesn't look too done, but it just pulls it off your face for a pretty look. So I, I think nothing says the holidays like a bright red blouse. And if you're ever going to get a candy red blouse like this one, the holidays is the time to do it. This one actually is from the White House Black Market Holiday Collection, and it is for me the perfect holiday blouse. I love this bright color. I love the V-neck that does not come down too low. I love the detailing on the sleeves. And it's just a, you know, this, this blouse to me just screams Christmas. My favorite way to wear this blouse is with this pair of velvet, black velvet jeans that are slim fitting. And I think you put a gold tone belt with it, either heels or flats. And I think it's a beautifully chic look for almost any holiday gathering. So this next look is really me. I love this blouse, which is shades of brown and gold with a little cream in it. I love the bow neck top that you can wear tied the way it's shown right here or open the way I showed it in the red blouse that's similar to it a few slides back. I just think that this is a perfect look. And my favorite way to wear this blouse is with a pair of dark denim jeans, a camel belt with a gold buckle, and some camel colored or cognac colored booties. I just think that this is so classy. You can't necessarily see it, but the blouse has a little, just a slight bit of sparkling thread that goes through it that makes it seem just even that much more festive. So this is another great look, which, is perfect for a time when you want to be a little dressed up, but it's not that formal of an occasion.
So I'm sure many of you have noticed that this deep green color is really on trend this holiday season. And I love that because it is right in my color wheel. I just absolutely love this deep evergreen color. And even though I find it really flattering for me, I really don't know many people on whom it doesn't look good. It's just such a great, rich, rich color. And I love it, especially on white. So here it is shown with some white pants that are a little flowier. These are from H&M. Um, they are kind of a wider leg. And I just love the way it looks with your hair upswept or with your hair down. I love it with some heels and just a simple gold pearl necklace or a gold necklace. I think this is a fantastic holiday look. So a similar hairstyle pulled up with this dark emerald green just adds a, a special elegant touch to this look. So there you go. I hope that you've found something in, in this video that you might get some idea for. Not necessarily that you have to go out and buy new things, although that's always fun. Sometimes it's great just to get some ideas and go back into your closet and see what do I have that is similar in my collection that I might be able to combine in a way I hadn't thought of before. Thanks a lot for joining me. Remember to subscribe if you like this video. That way you'll get notified when uh, more videos become available. And once again, I want to remind you that the links to these items or comparable items will be listed in the description box below. Thank you for joining. See you next time.